Good morning, everyone. My name is Anupam Ghosh, and I work with Siemens Technology in India, uh, and work as a team lead. I am a maintainer and developer of Fosology. So today, I am going to talk about Fosology as an open source uh, software for open source compliance. So uh, the overview is uh, we'll, I'll give a brief introduction of Fosology, why we need Fosology such a tool and what the Fosology building blocks are, what, what all they are in Fosology and at the end we'll conclude it. So uh, I think all of we are familiar with this, uh, with the screen which gives you a legal notice. So what is this? actually so before you uh, when you whenever you install a software you need to to, pro, to proceed you need to accept the legal uh, legal notices so uh, all the software that are distributed it comes with certain set of licenses copyright statement involved and disclaimer all those things are, are inherited part of a software in the licensing text so we need to find the license text, we need to find the reference to the licenses, uh, written text, it may be not exact text, it may be a written text explaining the licensing and the license, license relevant test text. Why you need to find this? That's important. So nowadays, uh, we use a lot of open source software and the problem is the license proliferation. What is this? So, what we do exactly? We use license software. We use licenses. Uh, we use, sorry, we use a software to build another software. And the problem here is multiple software. When you reuse those software, are actually built with some other licenses. So, we need to take care of the license compliance here. We need to find out the license has been used inside the software that we are using or reusing. So this is an example uh, example of uh, Apache Thrift. Uh, Apache Thrift is licensed under Apache 2.0 license. So though Apache is a very homogeneous license, but if you scan, scan this Apache Thrift to Fosology, then it will give you 25 odd licenses. Okay, so that means that you have another 25 licenses inside Apache 3 license. So, uh, the, what is Fosology? Fosology is uh, basically a web server for license and copyright compliance software component. So, Fosology was started in the year of 2008. It's licensed under GPL. It's a Linux Foundation collaboration project. Web server based command line interface it provides you the scanning agent for license and copyright relevant statement. It's a multi-user, multi-tenant web UI. Uh, on the right hand side, you will be able to see that uh, the present uh, the different layer that Fosology uses. It uses a PostgreSQL as a database, and we use C, C++, PHP as the business you know, to write our logic. And on the UI part, is built on PHP, Twig, and jQuery. So this is a workflow, how Fosology works. Fosology workflow starts with when you upload a package into a Fosology. What I mean by package? Package are the software libraries, the open source libraries that you have when you uh, upload it with a Fosology, then you can start the agents. And when you start the agent, you can choose it, license, copyright, ECC scanner, all those things you can choose. Once the scan is completed, it's ready for clearing. That means the clearing person can now review the content of the package. And once the clearing process is done, they can generate a report. Uh, there are various format of reports are supported, like Word, SPDX. Uh, I'll go through them one by one. So here is one more uh, flow here. Uh, SW360 is a component management portal. Uh, from there also you can directly upload software packages to Fosology. So this is the very same flow that we saw in the last slide. You can upload a OSS package in Fosology. Then it goes for a review process which is called clearing process and then you can generate 
a report based on uh, what has been done on the to review what has been done on the clearing side. So, uh, just I have added a couple of slides yesterday, so it may not be there in the actual uh, slides, but I will upload this after the presentation. So, Fossilogy has two main agents, it is called Monk and Nomos. So, Nomos is mainly your keyword and uh, it uses regex and Monk is basically more text matching kind of thing. So, when you go from Monk to Nomos, it gives you the flexibility, but the precision increases when it comes from Nomos to Monk. So, this is also a snapshot taken from the Fossilogy UI page. Uh, so, when you upload a package, here it means Zlib has been uploaded in Fossilogy. It scanned the package, it, it's, uh, it has scanned. Uh, all the it is showing all the relevant license information. If I have some time end of the session, then I will give you a demo so that you can see the how the tool works. And so there is one more scanner in Fossilogy that is called bulk scan. What it does? Basically, I have talked about two licenses, Nomos and Monk. So, we have so many open source license available. So, it is not possible that a scanner may always hit the right license at right time. There may be a possibility that you, there is a new license. You may found a new license. So, how to handle those situation? In Fossilogy gives you the bulk option where you can get the relevant text from the source file and mark as a bulk scanning agent, mark in the bulk scanning agent, choose a relevant license from the list and scan it for the whole package. So, in bulk you can also add or remove licenses. So, what are the new feature in Fossilogy? The SPDX import. So, what happens uh, uh, means it may happen sometime that uh, some packages have been reviewed or some packages have already been seen, but you uh, want the report for that library. So, if someone comes and give you a SPDX file, so, Fossilogy gives you the option to upload that package into Fossilogy and review that file. Okay. So, once you upload that package and review, you can, uh, yeah. So, in this uh, in this uh, slide, you can see the first option where you need to choose the package, the where the package will be uploaded in the folder. Then, the package. For example, you got a SPDX file for uh, for Zlib. Now, the you can uh, select the Zedli package and then the SPDX file that you have got may probably in RDA format, you can upload it to the upload report section and then choose, you can choose the for below options for the, 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 the SPDX file may contain a new license. So, you can choose them to be as a candidate license to be imported and then you can import the SPDX report, the new report against that package. Now, uh, once you have uh, imported the report, you may, you would like to analyze the file, what has been done, what decisions have been made on that package. Now, again, after analysis, you can actually generate a new report for that same package. Okay. So, that can be compared and that can means, you can reuse using this SPDX report. So, this is another feature, this is uh, after the clearing uh, process is complete, you can to review the process, you can also generate a Word document. So, it is very important as you manage your licenses, it is very important to manage its obligations and poli obligations and policy of the uh, obligations and policies. So, Fossilogy also provides you uh, a very good interface to manage your obligations and organization policies against the licenses. So, you just need to define those obligations and using CSP import, you can import those in the Fossilogy interface and against the license when you gender the report, obligations are automatically included in the report. Fossilogy REST API. Uh, 
the automation is a buzz for a long time and that's the reason we come up with the Fosology REST API. Now it supports the REST API interface so that it's become easier for user to integrate with the tools they are looking for or for uploading a package or integrating with any other tool they want. So as of now with the three for, from 3.4.0 three, four, three, four version, we are supporting the REST API. We have the endpoints like uploads, folders, search, user, job report and tokens. Uh, so you can generate a token from Frosology Web UI and then you can uh, upload a package, post it and trigger a scan over there and generate a report and you can also uh, get that report over the REST API. So here I have given the link for the REST API calls, how it works with Fosology. I will also show you if uh, time permits at the end. Now we see a couple of agents like Nomo scan and Nomo monk and bulk, bulk scanning. Now um, in, as a part of last year GSOC, we have developed one more agent which we call it's GSOC is uh, Google Summer of Code. So uh, our student uh, uh, Aman has uh, helped us to develop this Atarashi agent, which is not a rule based command line tool, but it it's uses some statistical and algebraic method to find out the license information in your file. So, uh, so we he here we use a couple of distance algorithm and uh, similarity finding algorithm to find the license um, information from a file. How it work exactly? So uh, first we process the input files, that's the uh, files from the library and then extract comments from the file and then, norm then normalize it and then apply different distance algorithm and based on the similarity and the rank we define that this file has this kind of what kind of license one file may contain. So this is a in-ground flow for say Matarashi. So when you have the normalized text, you perform a match and then similarity array, you get the similarity array and apply similarity array in the file and rank the findings. So that's all about uh, more or less about what uh, I wanted to present about the Fosology uh, as a license scanner. So we have lot of time and I can go through a brief uh, demo of Fosology. Okay, so this is the Fosology web UI interface. So if you install Fosology, it looks like this. It's very easy to install on your system. So we are in GitHub. So you can just clone us from the GitHub page. We are well, very well documented. If you go to Fosology Wiki, we have the different installation options. So you can install from source, you can use a Docker container image itself. So there are various options available. You can try it out. Uh, currently in my system, I have installed it from source. So default user ID password is FOSI. You can log in using FOSI, FOSI to Fosology and So first thing you need to do as I defined in that uh, process, process view, so you need to upload the package with Fosology. So how you do so, you go to upload, then upload the file. So now you need to choose the folder where you need to upload. You can, uh, according to your need, you can create multiple folders and folder structure here. So just for now, I'm choosing a Zedly package and uploading it to Fosology. Oh. One to eight, okay, and then uh, you can just describe something test package or something, and then you can choose the scanning agent. This is copyright, email URL, and then ECC analysis, keyword analysis, then monk nomos, and you can upload. Okay, so Fosology will unpack this package first, then it will run the different scanning agent that we saw. Uh, so you can see this, 
if you go to my recent job it will show you it has unpacked and now your package is scanned and it's ready for clearing process so if you come to license browser tab it will give you an overview what the license has been found inside Phosology uh, inside this package so uh, it has found uh, some ZLE, BSL all these licenses and then it has found the copyrights involved in this package you can see the list of copyrights that it has found it is around 102 entry ECC also export restrictions it has found so <coughs> sorry one basic about this you can define your copyrights and as well as ECC statement using from the configuration file we have the configuration file it's a text file stored in the library of phosology and you can define your own thing over there if you it re, if requires okay so I'll just show you how the bulk scan so I talked about one more license for example bulk the, uh, uh, how this work I'll just show you uh, here is the bulk interface for Phosology which gives you the bulk you can choose a statement which you think probably this statement looks like it could be a zlib license so I can copy this text I can copy into the text reference here and I can remove the zlib possibility license and can add Z license from the list. And schedule a bulk scan on this whole upload. Okay. So once this complete it will mark the file as identified. Okay, so it's not only this package inside it's marked actually it's actually inside the whole package it works. So you can now see before we start, uh, okay, I think I took a bad example. So so it only actually I marked on one file, but it actually found find the relevance in two files. So it has marked two files as cleared. Okay, so now about the generating reports. So once a clearing job is done, you can go to browse. You can go to the package that you have uploaded, and as I said you uh, in the presentation that you can generate different type of reports. You have readme OSS, you have SPDX RDF, you have tag value, you have uh, unified report generation options. So let me generate SPDX RDF file. So you can see the report is generated and it's downloading. The report is downloaded. You can open. Uh, well, I think it didn't open. Show in folder. Um, yeah. So this is the SPDX report and you will have all the licenses that you have cleared. It will be here and it follows SPDX information. Uh, now quickly I will go through. You can also generate report in other format according to your need. So one more thing I told you uh, about obligations inter obligation interface. So SPDX it gives you a very good obligation management system where you can um, add new obligations against a license or you can if you have an obligations imported from some other place you can uh, do a csb import or csb export of obligations okay Okay. and for uh, REST API you can generate a token from here 
edit user account so you have the option to generate a token from here give a name and a date and read write access the way you want to generate the option the permission you want to give for your token and you can then easily use uh, the rest in the interface so the rest link i have given it's also there in phosology org this is uh, this is the phosology official website where you will be able to find the rest api basic explanations so here we have uh, given some curl commands that you can use over rest and you can uh, we have also given the <coughs> swagger editor id and the rec, raw content of the uh, yaml file so you can if you put it into yaml it will give you all the rest api interfaces all are well defined so you can just try it out of your own it works pretty well so it gives you a complete interface for automating your package upload with Phosology or if you want to integrate with any of your CI CD you are it enables you to do so so now uh, this is Atharashi, Atharashi project that we are currently integrating with Phosology hopefully it will be done in by this year end and you will be getting another scan agent that actually enables you to do more automation with Phosology so you can conclude your license uh, more easily. The goal of Phosology is provide more and more automation so that you don't the manual work decreases the clearing process de decreases so that you can only review the process review the li uh, license finding. okay so so that was all about from my presentation so, so if you have any questions you can yes uh, if, I, if I want to integrate this for automated testing through my Jenkins pipeline do I have to use the REST API or is there a decent Jenkins plugin no we don't have a Jenkins plugin yet oh. <laughs> we don't that. have a Jenkins plugins yet so you have to use REST API as of now. Okay, and the, the question, since I didn't have my microphone, was whether there was a Jenkins plugin for Phosology. Sorry, but no, as of now, it's not available. Okay, probably. Yeah, I'm, I mean, we we use Phosology pretty heavily. We'll be installed it with a lot of our customer base, um, but I, I really want like a full a full solution for. Yeah, no, I came from Open Logic, and this used to be the business that we were in was nothing but auditing. Um, and now I'm looking at kind of replacing that with Phosology. So thank you. I just wanted to thank you again um, and um, highlight the fact I, you sort of glossed over it, but in the current uh, climate, it's very useful to be able to do the ECC scans. Um, and the fact that Phosology will find all the keywords that are relevant for that easily for you is a useful skill. It's probably one of the only tools I know out there that's open source that does that. So do you want to talk a little bit more about um, how the export control um, scanning information is found? Would you got to talk? Because uh, I think that is very relevant right now. Export of can scanning information? Yeah. Yep. The fact that how the export control scanning the keywords that it's looking for. Okay. Give some context about that. Okay. Because a lot of open source projects are needing to ref, uh, register so that then we can work across sure. international jurisdictions. Okay. So, uh, as part of Phosology, this is also open source the configuration Phosology used by default. If you go to Phosology, <coughs> if you go to Phosology uh, GitHub page, and then. Um, you have to come under SRC folder structure and sorry then come down look for ECC uh, no there is no ECC folder so you have to go inside copyright because uh, for ECC we actually frog the copyright agent into multiple agent uh, 
So it is the same engine we use. So if you go inside agent, you will find there is a ECC configuration file. So this is the regex that is mainly used by ECC. So and we have the uh, the regex used by copyright it's the same uh, in the same folder you have the regex used by copyright ecc and keywords so if you want to edit them it's pretty easy it's just regex you can add your own stuff or it's it's, it's very easy to do so as part of automations just uh, i just i didn't introduce it here to bring more automations we are currently in a process integrating Fosology with uh, software heritage, clearly defined and a couple of more things. <laughs> we are planning in future to build a compatibility agent also that will reduce work a lot. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you for joining.